Hacking terminals in Fallout New Vegas is effectively a minigame that you will need to master in order to gain access to places and or items and in this video I will explain exactly how to use the hacking feature in Fallout New Vegas. Hi I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. The first thing you will need to do is just gain access to a terminal and this is basically what a terminal really looks like although the same can happen on a computer instead. Just go ahead and open it up. So once you open a terminal this is the interface this is basically what it looks like. So across the top it shows that we have four attempts and we'll come back to this in a moment. If you move your cursor you will be able to see that you're able to sort of go from this left side to this right side and embedded within these two sides are words. So here for example that says shackles and if I select another word, happened, and if I select another one, implants. All of these words are possible passwords to this terminal. And if you select the right word, then what this will do is give you access to opening this terminal, i.e. hacking the terminal. Now what you need to do is just go ahead and select one word. And from there, we will be able to take some further steps. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and select this word here, shackles. Now that I've selected this word, let's see what's happened. Initially, I started with four attempts. I now have three attempts. So this means I'm able to only use up to four attempts to try and hack a terminal. If you have a look on the very bottom right hand side, you will see that when I entered the word shackles, it has given me a number of one out of eight. What that basically means is out of the word shackles, i.e. the letters S-H-A-C-K-L-E-S, one of those letters is actually in the correct position. So if I go ahead and say, look at this word here, happened, what I need to do is see, are there any letters in between the two words that match? And in this instance, there are just the letter E right at the end, and none of the other letters are the same. So there is a chance that this could possibly be the password. So what we're going to do is go ahead and try this. And in this case, this was the password. There are also other ways to figure out what the password might be. Now, I've got a fresh new terminal. So what I'm going to do is just pick something at random, extended. And in this instance, observe that it's given me a five out of eight. That means out of the possible letters, E, X, T, E, N, D, E, D, five of those letters are correct. So if I were to now say highlight a different word, such as this one, ascended, if I were to compare the letters in between those two words, I can see that five letters actually do match. The last five letters, E, N, D, E, D. So this could possibly be the password to this terminal. But what we're going to do is not actually select any word at the moment. What we will do is try and find the hidden words in a terminal. So when you're in a terminal, there are possibility of having hidden words. And if you select these hidden words, one of two things happen. It will either replenish your attempts, so it will give us the full four attempts back, or it will remove a password that is basically an unwanted or fake password. So how do you find these hidden words? What you need to do is sort of go through the terminal and try and find what look like commas or basically square brackets. And these are basically hidden words. So right here, I have found one. Notice that as I'm highlighting the letters or the characters, only one item is being highlighted or one character is being highlighted. But if I come here, this is now highlighting two. So this is basically a hidden word. So if I now select this, it will either replenish my attempt or it will remove an unwanted password. So in this case, if you look at the bottom right, it has replenished my attempt. So that's really good. So what I'm going to do is see if I can find another hidden word. So there's one right here, although I'm going to see if I can find something else that's a little bit longer, such as this one. So if I now select this one, let's see what happens. So this has now removed a dud password. So somewhere in this terminal, there was another password, which was basically a fake password and it's been removed. So let's go ahead and try and see if we can find some more hidden words. So there you go. It's now removed another dud word. So there was a word here that has now been removed. Let's see if we can find any more. So here's another hidden one. And that's removed yet another hidden word. Okay, so we are now left with basically just two words. We are left with ascended and we're left with disputes. So one of these two words is the password. 
So if we just compare it to the first one extended where we got five out of eight correct, if we compare the letters in between the two words, as we sort of guessed at the beginning, the last five letters are the same, but the first three are different. So this is more likely to be the password. If I look at this one, disputes, only a few letters match. In particular, the E matches, but the others don't. So this is not likely to be the password. So let's go ahead and select it. And notice this is giving us a one out of eight. So we can already deduce that when we compare the extended word to the dispute word, we already knew that only one letter matched. So this sort of confirms our theory of how this one out of eight or five out of eight works. So what we can do now is just go ahead and select the ascended, and this should be the password to the terminal. And there you go, we've just hacked the terminal. Now, hacking terminals can be quite fun if you're into that sort of stuff, but sometimes all you want to do is just basically get into it. So what can you do? Well, there's a little bit of a trick you can do. Go ahead and just select any three random passwords. You might be lucky and actually gain access. As you can see, I have selected basically three random passwords and I wasn't lucky enough to actually find the password. From here, you can either go ahead and try and fish for hidden words and either remove passwords as duds or you can try and replenish. But there's another trick you can do. Instead of doing any of that, if you only have one attempt left, what you can do is simply exit the terminal, go back in, and when you do that, you will find, quite to your surprise, that it will replenish all four attempts. So now if you notice, we exited the terminal when it had only one attempt left, and going back in has replenished all of our attempts. So you can basically just do that in a loop until you basically find the password. When trying to hack a terminal, you will notice that this terminal has a level. In this case, it is average. Different terminals have different lock difficulties, and based on your science skill, that will determine which terminal you're able to hack. Now, terminal comes in five different difficulty levels. There's very easy, easy, average, hard, and very hard. Depending on your science skill, it will determine which level of terminal you're able to access in order to try and hack. For very easy, you will need to have a science skill of up to 15. For easy, it's 25. For average, it's 50. For hard, it's 75. And for very hard, it's 100. You should now have a better understanding on how to hack terminals in Fallout New Vegas. You may also be interested in how to reverse pickpocket NPCs, which also gives you access to armors that you might otherwise not be able to get. Click on the video you see on the screen now to learn more.